Blackbusters. What's cracking, family? Welcome back to another episode of Blackbusters, the best movie review podcast in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. I'm your host, Big Ja, mm-hmm. along with my co-host, Sad Trombone Tone. Ooh. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> sad Trombone Tone. Sad Trombone Tone. tone. Okay, this that's was, an interesting this, one. This was a sad, how long was the runtime on this movie? Uh, whatever it was, 90 minutes. It was a sad 90, 90 minutes. minutes. Sad 90 minutes. Ooh. Sad? Wah, wah. Yeah, oh, snap. <laughs> we'll talk about it. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Okay, okay, man. Hey, here's the thing. He's starting off the gate mm-hmm. talking his shit. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's all good. We about to figure out which movie we talking about and which is two can play that game. Two can play that game. Two mm-hmm. can play that game. Ah, uh, man. Written and directed by Mark Brown. Mark Brown. Starring Vivica Fox. Mm-hmm. Morris Chestnut. Yep. Anthony Anderson. I like Anthony. Tamala, Tamala Jones. Yes, she was. Dondre Whitfield. Mm-hmm. Uh, Monique. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wendy, uh, Wendy Raquel Robinson. Yeah. Yeah. I like her. Man, Bobby Brown. Cameo. It's a cameo. <laughs> cameo. <laughs> Chris Spencer. <laughs> cameo. cameo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Star- <clears throat> it's kind Man. of what's starring. They were right, part of true. the cast. Gabrielle Union. Yeah, she Ooh, was. We. Mm-hmm. Yes, she was. Yeah. Yeah. She you was. know what's interesting about Gabrielle Union? What's that name? Is whenever I see her in a movie, I cannot guess how old she is. Okay. Because she's yeah. kind of like aged timelessly. Yeah. So it's just like I see her in this, and I'm like, how old was she how when old she was did? She, bro? Then I see her in a movie that came out like I know it came out like seven years later, and I still don't know Has she, yeah. like how old she, she is. She shoot this 10 years ago and they finally put it out. She could have been 21 when this movie came Man. out. She could have been 30. She could have been 30. Bro. I have no idea. Yeah. No idea at all. Hold on. Is that earthquake? Yeah, that's an earthquake. Or a Jurassic Park. Look at the look at the, look at the water shake. Yeah, we have a little earthquake. That earthquake? Yeah. Uh huh. It's not even hot. Yeah, Southern California, Southern Cali, Southern Cali. <laughs> hey man, I guess the universe <laughs> he got got some things to say about this movie too. Yeah, man. yeah. He just had a little earthquake. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Real player like. But you see how us Cali guys do it. We, oh, you know, yeah, come on, man. What nobody getting under the table? Hey, wasn't nobody getting up under there, man? <laughs> Should we have an earthquake. Yeah, we oh, have, we have an earthquake. All right, then. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> the engineer came in. He was yeah. like. Yeah, we have never. We have never quite. Yeah, yeah. Right. and he closed the door and went yeah. back. To, went back to work. <laughs> it's, it's, it's yeah. Los Angeles, baby. <clears throat> L.A., baby. We LA don't give a damn about no earthquakes, man. Until the shit start falling off the walls. And that's shit. when things when that's shit gets serious. Get, yeah. If, if if it's the one, like if yeah. it's the big one, you go, we are, and you know when it's the big one. Yeah. You be like, this is the one we've been waiting on. All right, let's let's get up on here, man. And if it was the big one, I, I there's the one else I'd rather be with. Hey, bro. You know, we're going to go, man. We're going to survive, bro. We're going to survive. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to survive the earthquake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You might be a little bruised up. Yeah. But we're going to make it happen. You're going you're gonna to see just what, of a, what, what kind of scoundrel I am. <laughs> go I'm, figure it out. I've been waiting for the apocalypse. Wait, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> to, go, to go full oh, villain. Oh, man. I've been waiting to go full hey, villain. <laughs> speaking of that, bro, <clears throat> are there any, there is, like, uh, well, um, we'll do one. I am legend. That's a, 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 a post-apocalypse. Yeah. yeah. Black film. Book of Eli. <clears throat> Book of Eli. There we go. Yeah. When we get let's talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> when it's time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I can't like, wait. How can't how wait. you gonna hey, you'll you'll figure out how how a nigga really is mm-hmm. post apocalypse. Yeah. What type of dude is he you know what I'm saying? What is he made of? What mm-hmm. type of nigga is he? And uh speaking of such, man, we'll man. we'll we'll Book of Eli, we'll do that soon. Me and the fit like we all gonna be held up and we're gonna be running out of water. And it's and I'll be like, I'll go get the water. And I come back three hours with like two gallons of water and blood all over me. You know what I mean? Like, you know. Anybody thirsty? Yeah, I got you. Anybody don't work. thirsty? Yeah. Don't work. Who'd you take it from? A family, nigga. I took it from. <laughs> it's home. Hey, you thirsty or not? Hey, hey man, where you get the water from? Don't yeah. ask no questions. Don't ask fam. no questions. Well, well, whose blood is that? Yeah. Bruh. Full villain. Don't ask no questions. Full villain. <laughs> we, it's either them or us. Yeah. Full villain. Dang. And I took that car. <laughs> That's what's outside. <awesome. laughs> <Burp, burp>. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Half a tank, bro. Half a tank. We got half a tank to get wherever we need get to us go. To, to Fresno. The Yo, Fresno. I'm with it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm with it. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm with it. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Apocalypse tone. Apocalypse tone. Damn. It's who you want to be with. It's who you want to be with. It's. it's <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping it 100, right? Yeah. Like, you know, like. We're on the same side. Just understand. We both nice you guys. You with me, I'm with you. Yeah. However, them? When the shit goes down. chance, bro. Shit goes down. 
right. Oh, All right. That's a quick earthquake uh, apocalypse conversation yeah. <laughs> that, that came out of nowhere. But here, yeah. we're back to uh, two can play that game with Vivica Fox. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, so you have some things. I could tell it's gonna be hot take tone all, yeah. all, all episode. Yeah, I, all it's right. it's tell me tell me your your overall thoughts before we get into the plot. After when was the last time you saw this movie? Last time I saw the movie had to be like maybe ten years ago. Okay, because this movie is twenty two years old. Yeah, and it looked it. Okay. Yes. It 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 mm-hmm. it's like that pre HD. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, there was a couple of scenes where I felt like it, it was out of focus. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, uh, but it it has <laughs> that 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 early, you know. But but it was yeah. released in two thousand and one. Right. I remember things being a little crisper. Um, right. But the colors didn't really pop. True. A little dull. A little dull. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. But that could just been. Yeah. That could have been how they how they exported it for the for the times. Mm-hmm. And if we think about the budget. What did they shoot it on? Like you know, you know right. from film school, film is not film is not film. Like you, right. you if you can afford a higher quality of stock of film, mm-hmm. you get a, a better image. Right, I'm assuming. Right, yeah. like you know. So I think with this one, it was like, I mean, we can afford this type of film, mm-hmm. and this is what we're going with. This is what we roll with. Boom, to get and everything not, else I mean, done. And, 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 Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It still looked good. It yeah. just didn't look as good as other films. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And. uh but that's even and to me that didn't bother me. Yeah, at all. I'm not tripping on that. Um, uh, Vivica looked good. Vivica, Vivica looked good. Man. Vivica looked good. I remember those days when Vivica was her. Yeah, man. Yeah, and amongst the other, it was like she had she was the uh, she was the the it chick in the film. This and might it, have been peak Vivica. Is this peak Vivica? Mm, Two thousand one. Yeah. Because 90s was, she had the TV show with uh, Patti LaBelle and mm-hmm. Dwayne Martin. Yeah. And more, I forgot they worked together back yeah. then. Yeah. And, and that was like on the way up. On the way up. On the way up. So if I look at her filmography. Kill Bill might have been her last. Kill Bill. Kill Bill might have been peak Vivica. Yeah. Because there's Joanna Man. There was Boat Trip. Soul That's Food. like 2002. Soul Food is 97. Right. So yeah. So I think Two Can Play That Game is 2001. Kill Bill comes out in 2003. Mm-hmm. And then after that, kind of gets a little hairy. It's nothing really like a note. So, yeah. So, I think this is just pre, pre-peak pre Vivica. Right. Pre-peak. Mm-hmm. Because after, I feel like after, uh, well, I think this is all their time. Like, yeah. you know, um, Gabrielle Union turned around. And around the same time, she was basically the same character in uh, mm-hmm. Deliver Us From Eva, yep. which we're going to turn. And we're, we're going to do that soon yep. to kind of compare the two films. Yep. Yep. But um, <clears throat> two can play that game, man. Part one. There's, mm-hmm. two, there's, there's, there's at least two of these, right? Uh, um, I, Here's the thing. I, I like the film because of what it discussed. Okay. And I feel like it was relatable. Playing games. Uh, playing games. Mm-hmm. Hence the name. Mm-hmm. The title. Two can play that game. It was like, oh, you want to act like that? Okay, so I'm going to act like this. Yeah. And it's ridiculous as fuck. Yep. It's super ridiculous, man. Um, uh, Vivica Fox plays Shantae Smith. She's the main character. She's the narrator of the project, mm-hmm. of, the, of the movie. And she's the main character. She is like an advertising exec, so exec yeah. partner already before the age of 30. Yeah. Um, she's just... A chick doing it, got her own break, got a big ass house, mm-hmm. driving a nice ass drop top. Yeah. She got it made. She looked good, her body right, and she got a dope ass boyfriend that's very successful in his field as well. Mm-hmm. And attractive, got his frame, got his body right, and he's faithful and loves the fuck out of her. Right. To, to, that's what we know. Her yeah. life is perfect, basically. Mm-hmm. Everything is perfect for her. But she has close homegirls. Uh, Wendy, Raquel Robinson, Tamara Jones, mm-hmm. and uh, Monique, yeah. who's played, who plays Deidre. Those are her three partners. It's four of them, the four amigas. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? And they all kind of like look up to her. They all look up to her. You know what I'm saying? Because she has all the answers. She has her life right. She mm-hmm. got a man in check. And she's the perfect chick, basically. Yeah. She's basically Hitch. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, or, in a sense, Marcus Graham. It gave me very walking through the office. It gave me mm-hmm. it gave me boomerang yeah. a little bit, <clears throat> and um and like she has she's an exec. She's got the she's on sitting on top of the world, and uh, the only difference is she's not a player. She actually has a boyfriend that she's in a committed relationship with. Yeah, yeah. That's the only difference, really. Yeah. Um, because because in in boomerang 
uh, Marcus Graham had his two homeboys that looked up to him for advice yep. and all that stuff too. Yep. Yep. So very, very boomerangish to me. Yeah. Um, maybe that's why I liked it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm gonna say what I like it first, and then I'll, I'll yeah. start. Mm-hmm. We'll start. I'm waiting. Busting. Down. I know you're waiting because you're quiet. <laughs> um, so she's giving um uh, uh, relationship advice to Tamala Jones, who plays Tracy Johnson, mm-hmm. Wendy Raquel Robinson, who plays Karen, and Monique, who plays Deidre. Monique has a boyfriend that doesn't work. All he does is lay pipe. Mm-hmm. My baby lay pipe. Mm-hmm. Pause. Hilarious. Twice. Hilarious. Um, yeah, Monique was hilarious in the movie. Wendy uh, was dating uh, Bobby Brown's character, Michael. Yeah. Who and like <laughs> who she built up from just a scrub to yeah. like a yeah yeah to like a, a nice looking dude. And a less he, of a scrub. A less of a scrub, <laughs> right? And then um, he found out that he was she basically upgraded him, and and mm-hmm. now he start feeling himself. Yep, yep. And uh, Tamla Jones got a boyfriend that's cheating. Dondre Whitfield is cheating all over her. Mm-hmm. Um, and she keep going back, uh, or after she was going uh, dealing with it until she wasn't no more. Right. And they're all looking for her for advice. And she's like, you got to do this. You got to do that. These are the rules. You do this. These are the rules. Mm -hmm. She lives her life. And she, she, her claim to fame is I do my, I live my life properly because Mm -hmm. because of these rules. And these rules keep everything in order, myself and my man. Mm -hmm. Um, She's in control of everything. At least she, she expresses that to her friends and to the outside world. And then lo and behold, something happens. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. So and it wasn't finished. Finish. Okay. Your so finish your they go to dinner, right? Mm-hmm. Vivica goes to her favorite restaurant with her three homegirls, mm-hmm. right? And they're chilling and they're all venting about their dudes. But she's like, "Keep it cool. Everything's everything's cool." And she happens to see. Oh yeah, she, I'm sorry. She's at she's at home first, and she's supposed to be going to dinner with her boyfriend. Right. And uh, up leading up into this scene, mm-hmm. there's like a cardinal rule: like your man is cheating if he says he's working. If late. he says he's, he's working late, yeah. If he say if your man says he's working late, he's cheating. Yeah. That's just, that's a rule. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then so she finally <laughs> she's she's hanging out with her homegirls, drinking pre gaming before she goes out with her dude later on that night. Mm-hmm. She gets a call from her dude saying, "Hey, baby." I guess this is the first time it ever happened. Yeah, I'm Baby, working I, late. I can't go tonight. I can't go to dinner tonight because I'm working late. Yeah, um, and now she's worried because mm-hmm. of that rule. So she, but she, but she, she keeps, keeps it cool. cool. She keeps it, it cool. calm, safe face for her fa- for her homegirl. They wait. They waiting to see how she's gonna react. Yep. And she's like, it's all good. As a matter of fact, let's all go let's eat. all go. They to the same spot. Yeah. They go to their, their favorite her favorite restaurant. They're eating or they're about to eat, and then she happens to see or one of her homegirl spots. Her dude, Morris mm-hmm. Chestnut's character, dancing with a fly ass chick. She was bad, super bad. She I forget bad. her name too, yeah. but she's always the bad chick in she the in the nineties, in the hot. early two thousands. That's what she was. She was the hot. sitcom, mm-hmm. hot as fuck. Yeah, um, uh, I need to get her name. She was just my type. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes she was. She was just my type. Uh, indeed, indeed, indeed. <laughs> as she should. Mm-hmm. Um, so she sees she sees him on the dance floor, dancing with a woman, mm-hmm. and this a couple hours before. He's he, supposed to be working late. He's supposed to be working late, mm-hmm. and he can't go to dinner with her. So now she, once again, saves face, puts a smile on her face. Mm-hmm. Like, it's all good. He's probably just dancing with a co-worker. And the other. But this is where the games begin. This is where the games begin. In her mind, she's telling her, she's telling, we see as the viewers, we see her tell us one thing, mm-hmm. and she tells her friends something totally different. Right. Right. All right? <clears throat> she keeps it 100 with us, mm-hmm. but she's lying to her for homegirls, which women do all the time, which is why I feel like this part of the film is relate- very relatable. Okay. So let me let me say a couple things. Boom. Um, the, the narration format. Yeah. Right? Um, it's almost like, like, you know when you, um, like if you're cooking, like there's certain, there's mm-hmm. certain spices that you got to use just enough mm-hmm. To get the flavor, whether it's whether it's salt or cayenne pepper, but if you use too much of it, it basically ruins the flavor of the dish. Mm. It overpowers. You think they did too much every, narration? I think they did too much. Did you? Okay. I think I think <clears throat> it was I think it was too much, too soon, too frequently with a character I don't really care about. Right? Mm. And I tell you why, like. She's not Shantae Smith is not a likable character, mm. in my opinion. Mm. So I'm working late. <laughs> uh-huh. I've been working late. I ain't cheating, but I've been working late for like weeks. Right. And my wife called me out on it. She was like, "Listen, you know, you 
be kind of doing your thing, you know, you're watching blockbuster movies, you're writing, you're doing all this other kind of stuff. You know, we're not really kicking it at night. I'm doing my thing, watching my TV shows. I kind of feel like recently we've been two ships passing mm-hmm. in the night. Right. I was like, baby, you know what? You're right. You're right. You know, I need to unplug. You know, matter of fact, I got to watch a blockbuster movie. Why don't you watch it with me? Let's watch it together. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. Two can play that game. Mm. About 15 minutes in this movie, I paused it. I said, baby, I re- I don't want to put you through this. <laughs> like, this is not, like, I want to spend this quality time, but but I would much rather you watch what you want to watch than watch the rest of this movie because I'm not enjoying it, mm. right? I'm not enjoying Damn. it. Damn, okay. And, and, and it, because it starts off, she's judgmental. She is, she shits kind of like on everybody. Right? Huh. Like, she shits on kind of her girlfriend. She says her girlfriends are a mess. She shoots, she shits on all of their boyfriends. She, you know, the company that she works for, slanging malt liquor in the hood. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, she just kind of comes across as like a bitch. And so, because her character is so bitchy, and because I don't like her character, and I don't like the games, and I don't like any of the decisions that she makes throughout the end of this movie, until the end of this movie, I'm rooting against her for the in- for the mm. entire movie. So every time she stops to turn to talk to me, you let me stop talking. Shut to the you. fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, like ah, oh, you know what I mean? Like stop talking to me. Like I'm not like I'm not feeling you. As a character, uh-huh. I'm not feeling this movie. I'm not feeling what they did to the to the to the boyfriend. Like they yeah. make him a they make him a, a scrub, sucker. a sucker. Yeah. He's he's supposed to be her match and her equal. And they just the only person I'm really kind of feeling is Anthony Anderson. <laughs> Anthony Anderson. The whole movie. <laughs> right? So I feel like the narrative guess quality what his name is. Yeah. What was it Tony? Tony. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Tony had the answers. He had the answers. Uh-huh. So I feel like I feel like had they maybe rolled it out like a Marcus Graham. You know what I mean? Where where we just get to see her be a boss and see her command the room without the stop and talk to me shit, maybe it would have worked a little bit better. But immediately it was too much cayenne pepper. <clears throat> and so okay. because it was because it was over season, just the rest of the movie is is, and it, and is it, black. Okay, I'm not right. feeling it. That's uh, that's I, that's, that's how I, I come into the uh, rest of the movie. Okay, I'm gonna say this. I hear what you're saying. I didn't have a problem with the the narration. Mm-hmm. The t- I don't. I didn't think. It was, I didn't. I didn't see it as too much. It didn't bother me at all. Yeah. Uh, maybe because I'm just used. I know what they're trying to do. I so I let it. them do it. I get it. Now her being her shitting on her homegirl. I didn't see that. I saw her home. She's like, she letting her homegirl stay with her. Yeah. And then she going over there with flowers and shit like that and and hugging her while she crying. Right, right. And, and but thing is, her dude was trash. And I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Yeah. I, I don't I don't judge. I have my heavy opinions and my wife be like, that sounds like your dad just no, no. <laughs> it's not a fact. <laughs> right, right. This is how I feel about That's the how situation. I feel. About how, how I feel about him mm-hmm. or her or the situation. It's not a fact. Yeah. That, I'm, not, I'm not saying it because I say this, this is what it is. Mm-hmm. Or I think this, this is what it is. Shush, That's not take. the case. Yeah. Right. It's my take. Um uh Wendy, uh, her name was uh Karen. Mm-hmm. Karen was a sucker. Yeah. Like, um, and her dude was Feeling himself, and she's all heartbroken, and this, that, and the other. And mm-hmm. I get her, her homegirl was a mess. Right. It is what it is. It is she what was a it mess. is. Oh, girl, Tracy, Tamla Jones' character, mm-hmm. super mess. Right. Breaking shit and hitting her dude, and what are you doing? Yeah. That's a mess. It's a mess. So her friends deserve to be talked about. Right. Right, I guess. <clears throat> I guess what what kind of did that's not me. judging. That's like I'm it just wasn't... I'm just showing you what it is. She's showing us, and I'm looking at her homegirl. I'm like. Mm-hmm. These homegirls is not they whack, right? They whack. At the end, at the like tail end or towards the end of that fifteen minutes, when Gabrielle Union walks up, and the first thing that like she does is like call her a hoe, right? right? Like I was just like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, like at at that point, I'm like, she done she done had something to say about everybody that we gonna meet, right? Hey, okay, she she got something to say. If you think about it, yeah. If you introducing somebody, mm-hmm. she introducing us to every character in the film. True, true. And she, you know what I'm saying. True. So, um, her saying she a hoe because she probably knows the information about her. She will do anything to get ahead. Right. I know this about her, and then we see it later on. Yeah. You know it just saying? wasn't the best first impression, yeah. right? Like you know, like like 
my take on it. I'm sitting, I'm I'm happy, and this and then she's talking to me, and then she's not talking to me, and uh-huh. she's talking about people, and it's just like before I get a chance to even like like uh, again, it goes back to the seasoning. If you like the character, yeah, then then go for the rock. Or if you like the if you like broccoli, yeah, no matter how you eat, it broccoli. don't even matter. I love broccoli, so yeah. I'm gonna eat it. For it steam, is what it is. I'm sautéed, yeah. But if I you don't immediately like broccoli, you didn't don't... like the character. Okay, I like a me like within the first 10, 15 minutes, I was like, I'm not fucking with her. I don't uh-huh. I don't like her. And uh-huh. then they just continue to double down on reasons to not like her for the rest of the movie. Right. So then I find myself like, just get me to the end of this movie so I can leave this character's universe. Like, I don't I don't want like I don't want to be in her <laughs> world. I don't want to be in her relationship. I don't want to be in her friends. And I just think it's because they just it came out. They came out the gate strong. And if you wasn't fucking with it, then it, like they could they, never they, get they, you they, back. They can never get you back. They can never get That's you back. That's what it is. Because That's what I, it is. I figure like out of, out of the. Women in this film, she's the most together. Mm-hmm. Um, I think she's whack as hell for the game plan. Mm-hmm. But that so that dropped her down. You know what I'm saying? Really, really, if the uh the person that I like the most out of all the women mm-hmm. is the woman, the woman I saw the least was the woman, the woman that old boy uh uh Keith Fenton, mm-hmm. more shit that was dancing with, his yeah. co-worker. Yeah, what about her? She seemed cool. Yeah, give her they, a ring. They hurt, man. Give her, give her you know a ring. Saying? Not can <laughs> not uh not not Connie. Yeah, give her Connie a ring. in your face knowing oh oh. Connie knows what she being messy. Yeah, Connie knows that. She knows. She knows. And 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 and, and Morris Keith, mm-hmm. he wasn't tri- he wasn't that type of nigga at first. Yeah, he's getting he's getting bad advice from uh bad slightly bad good advice from uh from Tony. Yeah, Tony. You know what I'm to- Tony, like it's almost like like they they want you to believe it's it's Vivica versus Morris. It's really Vivica versus Tony. It's really he v- says that too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's starting to piss me off. Yeah, that's bro. Yeah. This movie is. He's saying, man, she's starting to piss me off. Yeah, like that's hilarious. Yeah, like, your best friend is telling you, man, your girl's starting to piss me off. Bro. Yeah, yeah. She's playing games, man. She think I'm stupid. He, and he, and, he and, like, and that's what what's weird about it is, is because Morris is supposed to be the alpha. Yeah, right. Like Morris, not is, not, is, not not the not little Tony, chubby dude. Not you know Tony, what I'm but like, right. but it's reversed. Like Tony is the alpha mm-hmm. who's telling Morris what to do. Right, like he should be telling Tony, "This is what I'm gonna do." Yeah, really? Oh, what you gonna do now? All right, this is what I'm gonna do, man. Yeah, because she doesn't exactly know. like yeah. like more should be schooling Tony and Tony schooling him, right? Because really, <sighs> like the, the movie is called Two Can Play That Game," but really, like only Vivica's playing. Like she's playing, or she's playing against Tony. Like she's right. like by the time Morris <clears throat> gets to playing, he's just a piece. He's a pawn. Yeah, it, you know, it's it's really. Vivica versus Anthony Anderson. And they never they never actually crossed paths in the in the project. I think they were at the party yeah, once, yeah, yeah. but they never even spoke, right? Yeah, so like there should have been a scene where he's like, Yeah, yeah. Him walking up on her and, mm-hmm. and, and she could be like, I know you're the one telling him all this bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, I'm right. Telling him how to navigate through this mess yeah. that you that you that you put them through. Whatever. But the way they do it just really like just drags down Keith. As a, yeah. as as a as a as a character, uh-huh. right? Like he he doesn't come across as strong. He doesn't come across as like he's he's first of all. Go ahead. Go like ahead. like the game that he spits when he first meets her. I'm gonna ask you three questions, uh-huh. right? Bullshit. Like I hated that. Right? <laughs> like it, it wasn't smooth. Like it, like it, it wasn't smooth. It wasn't debonair. It, Are you why? Because to it, me, uh, is it, I, it? You think I'm attracted to you? Come on, this the student film work right there. So is it because of the questions, or is it because he did the whole? Is it the questions could have been better, or the they the setup was unfulfilling, right? Like he's supposed to be this smooth and debonair guy, and we don't come across feeling like that interaction was smooth at all. At least I didn't, right? I didn't feel like this it was is... some max shit. I didn't feel like it was some. I Ooh, like I like, like asking he her gamed questions. her up. Yeah. I like asking her questions. Maybe the questions weren't good enough. Yeah, they weren't because, good enough. Because because you when you ask a woman a question, when you meet her for the first time, you meet her at the bar, you ask her something, you start talking to yeah. her. How you doing? You, you don't do that. Yeah. Um like be that that's that's saying I know I'm the shit mm-hmm. and I'm I'm so confident in myself that I'm even I'm gonna come at you this way mm-hmm. in front of your homegirls and shit like that. This is like that part to me is like when a screenwriter who's never been in the club mm. writes a scene 
about two people in the club, that's what you get. Mm. Right? Like, you know, that wasn't realistic. That wasn't believable. People don't talk like that. Right? And if they do, it's better. Like Hitch, for example. Like, Hitch is a good comparison. It's a fundamentally better movie than two can play that game. Mm. But it still is about rules. Mm -hmm. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. Um, I'm wondering, did Hitch, did they use that narrative in Hitch as well? Was Hitch talking to us in that movie? If you think back to Hitch. No. He never stopped to talk to the to the audience. He never broke the fourth wall I don't think so. to speak to us. Okay, I, I, I think. I don't think so. I yes, think he so. did. He did. He did. Because remember, like, there's like a uh, like a part where where he, I think, is walking down the street and he's kind of like, and it, he's, all the other people in the back. Most people, most people just need an interaction. Most people just need an opportunity. That's what I do. You know, I create opportunities oh, yeah. for such and but such. But it might not have been as heavy as this one. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So like, you know, so. And in that, <clears throat> Hitch has his rules of what you're gonna do, but they just come across better and mm-hmm. more and more believable, right? I, yeah, um, I, I feel like for this dude to be um, Keith mm-hmm. to be so successful, so attractive, pause, mm-hmm. um, and and then faithful, like he's the perfect man, but he just Keith wouldn't go if he it didn't make sense that he was he's going to cancel dinner with his girlfriend mm-hmm. and then because he's working late and then because he's working late he goes to the same nightclub mm-hmm. the restaurant that his girl that yes. loves to go to yes the the place that he was supposed to go with her yeah that night yep with a woman falls apart right at the beginning it doesn't even make sense and it, then he has no conversation he has he's flabbergasted when she walks up on him mm-hmm. uh, 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 yeah uh, come on bro you 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 Keith Fenton bro yeah you 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 should be a player before you made before you got with uh mm-hmm. uh Chante Smith and so you should have a better understanding of what to say and first, for for one, you wouldn't you wouldn't have even been there. Right. That's that, my that, point. That to me is a, that's an unrealistic that's thing for a point. boyfriend to do. Yeah. And then don't call her, don't talk to her that mm-hmm. day. Is she your coworker? You introduce her. Hey, this is we work together. Mm-hmm. I know what it looks like. It's it's a few of us here. It's yep. me, her. Now, if it was like a group, uh, we all we all went. To, what you would do is after working late, mm-hmm. and the, she's like, "Oh, she invited me, so I went." Mm-hmm. My nigga, yeah. Invite your girl. Yep. Hey, uh, me, me to sit here, or you wouldn't break plans. Like, like I, at my job, every now and then, you know, some of my female coworkers are dealing with it. Most, most times, a work issue. Mm-hmm. I'm like, can we go to lunch? I want to talk such and such and such. And such. Normally, that's kind of like questionable for me you know I'm, I'm not close enough with any of them but they do kind of seek my counsel mm-hmm. if i was if someone was really going through it and i yeah. went out for a drink after sure i think i might do that like if somebody really but if we get to dancing nigga get the fuck that out is that's you know drinks what I mean? dancing yeah come on now come if on. It's, now here's the thing let's say there's a uh the, the your job requires for you it's a, it's a business meeting mm-hmm. here at this restaurant yeah. slash dance yeah. lounge. Or we're at a conference or, you know. I'm saying, mm-hmm. I would let her know, hey, um, and at that point, if I'm, you want to dance? Yeah, I'll dance with you. But not if I had plans on my wife yeah. or my girlfriend. And it's just us two. Yeah, it, it just, that don't, yeah. that to me, but but the, to me, that was like a little cheap way of starting the yeah. confrontation right. in, the, in, the, in the plot. Right. You needed, you needed a reason for Shantae, to need to enact these seven day rules, ten days, ten day rules, whatever. The ten it is. days, God damn, come yeah. on, man. And um, come on. And so, and for her to act like nothing was wrong, that's whack. That's whack. I don't, if you upset about it, let's if talk about it. We supposed to talk. That's the that's the one thing. That's one thing that makes me like <laughs> her not likable. Right. For you a grown ass woman, you a grown with a ass whole woman. ass career. Mm-hmm. You got your life. You got your life in order. You should be like. Uh, Keith, we're like, what's going on? Not yeah. necessarily make a scene right then and there, mm-hmm. but we'll, we'll talk later. Hey, how you doing? Good mm-hmm. to meet you. Oh, I don't know. Oh, y'all work together? That's cool. I'm mm-hmm. his girlfriend. Yeah. Well, I'll, let, I'll talk to you later. We need to talk. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. what was that about? I said, yeah, you 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 canceled dinner with me. That's fine. It happens. You work late. That's cool. Mm-hmm. After you work late, 
after cancel dinner, you should be bringing dinner home. Right. Over to my house. Or, or you should be calling me. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be like, hey, let's say this. The, the female co-worker is like, hey, why don't you go to dinner with me? Mm-hmm. And let's dance. You know what? We, I, um, I actually had plans with my my girlfriend today, mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. tonight, but I canceled them for the meeting for the bit for the work late. Yeah, all right. Now that now that the work late is over, and you saying you're hungry, I'm hungry too, but I'm gonna go eat with my lady. Yeah, or she might already be asleep, but yeah. I'm gonna go hit her up to see what she wants. Yeah, I might go by her house real quick, um, smash then go home. Mm-hmm. I go to her that, but like I might go home, give my girl a kiss, and then leave, go yeah. to her house. You know what I'm saying? So 100 percent right. But I'm not gonna go out after I work late. Mm-hmm. After canceling plans with my woman, and especially not even telling her, I told your homegirl. That's weird to me. Yep. Put, I call your house. Your homegirl answers the phone. I'm not going to tell her. Tell you tell my girl. Let me speak to my girl. Yeah. Hand the phone. She's right next to you. Yeah. This is. It was just weird. It's weird. Like Keith and and, and she says they've been together for so long. Like he knows her. Come on. You know your woman. Right. Let me tell her, baby. I'm gonna be late. Uh, or or. We we gonna have to cancel plans because I gotta eat. I gotta eat. I had to work late. Mm-hmm. You want to have a late dinner? Mm-hmm. You want me to bring some takeout home over to the crib? I'm saying, and if it gets too late, I'll let you know. Right. It might be like eleven thirty, twelve months by the time I'm done. Right. You might already ate and be in the bed by then. Mm-hmm. I get it. So let me. I'll keep you posted. But then you just to get caught at the fucking the restaurant you know, dancing with a chick that, that she even, don't know. Even Jay Z said, you know, you don't find me at in the places where we comfy at. It won't be that. Right. Oh, no, you won't see you that. Won't no. See that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. everybody knows you're not supposed to do that. Every real man that I know, good man that I know, mm-hmm. like, knows how to keep women that are not his woman at bay. Right. They don't, they don't, they don't put themselves in the situations and circumstances that are questionable. So he's supposed to be her equal. Right. And we immediately find out he's not. He's not. And, and then, and then, in order for me to believe that two are playing the game, I have to believe that one has that they're that both can actually win, that they're right. equal, right? Like you know, but the shit is lopsided. The shit is lopsided all the way into the end of the movie, mm-hmm. and all of these characters do is make dumbass decisions that like shouldn't be followed, <laughs> that like shouldn't be repeated <clears throat> until we get to the end, and then the end is bullshit. <laughs> Right, I know I'm jumping ahead, but I'm just kind of like this ah sad trombone, like you know, and it, I, and it, I, and I and to your point, I see what they were trying to do. Mm-hmm. I see. I would have much rather give me less homegirls, so that we could mm-hmm. spend more time developing these characters, mm-hmm. right? Because the 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 other homegirls and the other homegirls men are just a side piece like we didn't have to we didn't we never had to go the time that we spent at Tamela Jones's house watching her break shit could have been time strengthening these characters mm-hmm. right why does tony know as much as he knows right like you know right. like these why? are things that that, that we're why? missing why is he what happened to keith based off his lifestyle mm mm-hmm. And who he is, he works out, he got boxing equipment in his house, he's just a fly-ass dude, mm-hmm. and Tony's giving him advice. Right. Tony should have been, the character should have been Dondre Whitfield. Yep. Another equal this dude. This is that brilliant. They, and he'd be like, the single player, mm-hmm. you know what I'm the spivey in Best Man, yep. you know yep. what I'm saying? Yep, Like, he should be like, hey, man, this is what you, this is what you, what you, should, do, you mm-hmm. should do. Therefore, it doesn't, it doesn't throw so much sunlight a spotlight on Keith not knowing what to do. Yeah. It's more so he might know what to do a little bit, but he even has an even more player dude that is helping him navigate through this. 100%. And, and, and Anthony Anderson could have been in the movie still, but it's not in that role. 100%. You know, um, I think that was a bad casting. I, I think, think you, I think you got that spot on. Like, yeah. Because, it, like, A, Anthony Anderson is so good in this. He is, he is. That you forget that he, he isn't the one that should be doing right, this. Right, right. <laughs> right? Like, you know... He does not come across as somebody that's a ladies' man. Right. He doesn't come no. across as someone that has the answer that's to that familiar yes. with, with women. Right. So our our handsome leading man is taking advice from somebody that like doesn't present or they don't give us any now, even if they show Tony a couple of times early. With bitches. Right. That would How do you? Yeah. I know, man. I might look this way. I might look like a teddy bear, but yeah. I have a grizzly bear in the sheets. Yeah. Something. Give me that. Yeah. So suddenly it's just like, yo. And that could be like, I'm the reason why I am so nice with it because look at me. Look what I, I do. Look at, look at what I'm pulling. Look at, look, look at how 
I get out of trouble. I'm always right. in trouble. Yeah. Or you always think I'm in trouble. Mm-hmm. But look how, you know, now there's a reason for our leading man to be, okay, Tone, tell me what to do. Right. What do you think? Yes. She ain't called yet. You know what I mean? So it's just like, since we don't have that, it's just kind of like just, yeah. just no. Like, even in Woo, <laughs> even in Woo, Tommy Davidson's neighbor, L. Cool J, as mm-hmm. soon as he opens the door, we say, oh, he the man. He the man. He got two women on his on, on the shoulders. He's the man. And so let me let me, let me give you a player kit mm-hmm. for the night. Right. T, a, a cassette tape, some perfume, and some, uh, some cologne, and mm-hmm. some some oils. I, I'm the man. And they said, and they showed you right away. Yep. But he's uh, the guy. <laughs> but before, uh, Tones, Tony's character to see him walking when when uh it just written a little weird a little bit like when when she goes over to her boyfriend's job to uh Vivica goes over to the to um more assistant's job mm-hmm. to uh to smash basically yeah uh, afternoon delight Tony's looking like ooh mm-hmm. he's like man he's just so enamored yeah like man you the man you lucky yeah you as a, but to him he should be like. Yeah, do your thing, bro. Mm-hmm. That's normal for me. That's normal. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you're getting it like me. And then when he when he goes in there, he goes in there afterward. He's like, Yeah. You hit it, didn't you? Yeah. You hit it. Like, like, like it's a like it's the first time he's surprised. Mm-hmm. This should be, hey, oh, oh just like Thursday. Every mm-hmm. Thursday. This is like mm-hmm. clockwork every Thursday. It should be something like that. Yeah. I it it, it, it just seemed kind of like sometimes with writers, uh, I, I read something in the script. And I'm like, oh, it's just a little too on the nose. Yeah. Or just a little too, it's a little inconsistent with the character. You know what I'm saying? Like, they go in the smash. He should come in there and be like, mm-hmm. ah, man, yeah. Yeah. And another, another one of them days, man, was it good? Yeah. Hey, it, uh, or, like, you wouldn't ask your homeboy that's been dating this woman for years if it was good. You know it's good. Right. Because it's been good for, for years. Especially if you're about to play the role of the sage. Yeah. Like, you know, like, like, this ain't supposed to be new to you, right? right? Um, the things that, like, the writing has Shantae do, like, later in the movie where she punctures her own tire to recruit, a, like, come on. Like, really? Like, you know, like, like that's what this character would do? Yeah. Under, right. under this circumstance, like, mm-hmm. come on. like and get, a, get the wrong guy. No, he's too corny. He's too nice. Yeah. He's the perfect guy. The white guy. Mm-hmm. At, the, at the MGD party. At the MGD party. <laughs> that right. I invite him in, and I'm talking to him all night. Mm-hmm. And then, um, he wants to come over and smash. And that's to make, that's to make, uh, that's to make Morris uh, Chestnut jealous. Jealous. I'm Morris Chestnut. Yeah. <laughs> that's who, him? Mm-hmm. With the mullet? That guy? Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> you reach it. I got Connie. I got Gabrielle Union. You give me this nigga, Trevor. I'm going to catch this VD from Connie. <laughs> you know? Right. She was, she was dancing like, you know. She was like, yeah. She dancing like she's yeah. hot. She was a little bit too vexing. Right. Yeah. And so and so she was, she worked for a company across the street or down the block? I don't, you know, like, I know she worked in the same industry as Vivica. I think that, like... Cause I think they they mentioned that like I think like like Vivica like Shantae's boss says you know she reminds me of you so mm. I think like she, she does, does she does another work exact, yeah she's an exact quite partner of her firm but she's on her way because when we introduce her she says I'm going to see your man right so they have business together as well they have business together as well because of what he does right but they never like she's almost kind of like a like a cartoon caricature. Like Jessica Rabbit. Like she never presents as a real person either. Like right. she's literally just kind of presented as a bunny, like sex a, object. Right. Somebody the for slow, Keith to smash. You see how slow the pan up was? Yeah. The tilt up. We took a long time. I said, this is like a seven second. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> right, right. And that's why and that's why it just this why everything felt so film school. Like it if it, uh. it felt like the script, like I'm not hating because this guy, Mark Brown, got better. Mm-hmm. Booty Call is his first joint. Mm-hmm. Got it. He goes from Booty Call to Two Can Play That Game, and then he gets to Barbershop. And I think by the time he gets to Barbershop, you know, we'll see when we mm-hmm. rewatch Barbershop to see, right. you know, how he improved. But this reminds me of, like, the script that I wrote my senior year in college. Right? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, um, this reminds me of the scenes that I shot. I didn't go to film school. I was a cinema television radio major mm-hmm. so in that 
we basically did projects in every category. So mm-hmm. we did a radio project, we did a TV project, we did a single cam. So I've shot some shit. Right. I've had to write and, sh- and shoot some shit. Right. This is what senior year Tony would have made. Right? Uh huh. I would have wrote these characters the same way. It would have all been the same kind of rom com type shit. It would have been the pan up. Like, let's start with the feet. Which I'm cool with. I do that. Yeah. Right. You know, it was long as fuck, though. Yeah. And, and so, and then, so when you put it with all the other stuff, then the whole thing kind of like feels like, eh. You know what I mean? Like, you're just like, ah, this is not, this is not very good. This is not very good. So, um, I'm going to tell you the things that I, I thought were realistic. Her feeling some type of way and seeing her and seeing Fenton or Keith Fenton mm-hmm. with another chick, which didn't make Setting sense. And then she admitted to me everything was cool. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. I would be, I've done that before. I was in college, matter of fact. Mm-hmm. I seen a chick that kind of gave me the cold shoulder for a few months. She even, I was hitting her up. She wasn't hitting me back. Then mm-hmm. she finally hit me with an email. Yeah. Telling me that she is going through stuff. That's why she didn't talk to me, and she just ain't been talking to nobody right now. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Long story short, I go to her school. We went to different colleges. Mm-hmm. I went to her college for like a a, a probate, mm-hmm. a Greek probate, and I see her out there looking good, good as hell, out and about. Mm-hmm. I said, she saw me. She lit up. Like, hey, mm-hmm. I saw her. This mind you, it's been like three months, maybe four months since we talked, and she sent me this. This goofy ass email, mm-hmm. not call me, not text me, but emailed me. Right. The fuck? I'm just going through so much right now. I'm like, nigga, she probably got to do. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Mm-hmm. So instead of telling me that, she told me, I'm, I'm just not talking to nobody right now. Okay, I'm all right. So I thought we was cool. I thought we was building. Clearly, I'm one of the niggas you ain't talking to because you're going through so much shit. Right. But you at this party, you at this function. Mm-hmm. I see her. I get woke over, give her a hug. And I was like, hey, uh, how you doing? I was, I'm good. He said, but no, I just want to give you a say what's up to you. I know you're dealing with shit right now. So I'm going to go ahead and nice get up out done. of here. Nice and dipped done. off. And she was like, well I done. walked off, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the man. That's well done. <laughs> I'm fucking 20 years old. Yeah. I was an idiot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I could have told her how I really felt. But in my mind, I was like, it really, this is why I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Because she did. She said what she said. If a chick say, hey, um, if I ask a girl out and she says, you know, I'm, I'm going to be busy, busy tonight. I'm, 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 um, I'm uh, washing my hair. Mm-hmm. Or I'm walking my goldfish. I know she ain't walking a goldfish. Right. That's the that's the answer. That's the reason she gave me why she can't go out with me. Yeah. Yeah. In that case, I'm good. Right. Whatever you going through it, you could have been lying. I don't think she was going through it too much because she out here kicking it with her girls. Mm-hmm. She didn't want to fuck with me at the time. Yeah. And she had keep the that same energy. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that was nicely done. Yeah. But you know but but it and is... I wasn't playing no games either because I really was done with her. Yeah. It wasn't like I okay. had text her later. It was. On it and... wasn't a but you. That's fantastic. In my mind, I was like, "Hey, if she hit me up, like, hey, how you doing? It's been a man. I saw you. I saw you last night. Mm-hmm. You was, you look nice. This and the other. Then, I, then I would probably entertain it. But now, at that point, she's just gonna be buns, right? You know what I'm saying? She, <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? I'm gonna keep it on it. Yeah, yeah. She was, I liked her a lot. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And that, at this point, if I come, if I let you back in, she's like, just gonna you just, be buns. You, yeah. you gonna be buns. Yeah. Um. And so, uh, but I was super okay with never talking to her again, and I didn't. Yeah. You know and I saying? think you know. And I, but and I do think that there are people that play games mm-hmm. like this. Yeah. Not to not to this extent. Like not to this, not, but not there, to this extent. Like, all right, so for example, you know, there there were rules. Like uh-huh. if I think about like, you know, never you gotta wait two days to call her. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, you know, if you get the number, you know, you gotta wait two days to call her, such and such and such and such. All these like little like little like games that people would, would yeah. play with each other. Um, I'm gonna let her call me first. So I, I kind of like get that yeah. point, right? I don't want to seem thirsty. I don't, you know, I don't want to, you know, if I call her the next day to such and such and such, you know what I mean? Like, never let her spend a night at your house. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. know, spend night at her house. You uh, know what I mean? So you get about it there, right? Um, you know, I, I knew a guy who was like, yeah, like when you dating a girl, <laughs> when you dating a girl, and it's kind of like very early on, like let her see you with another girl. Because mm-hmm. it's important to know that you can get other girls, right? right? right. Okay, it kind of makes sense, you know. Kind of, but if 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 your goal is to, my thing is this: if your goal is to be with her, you like her. Mm-hmm. This don't play like no you. games. Don't play no games. Don't play no. Like games. if you like, if, if if he was in violation, he needed to know, bro, that you out of pocket, homie. Yeah, like love you out of pocket. Keith, mm-hmm. you went you 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 cancel your dinner with me, which is fine because you was working late. That's fine too, 
But the, and they set it up too too easy. Like if he says he's working late, he's cheating. Yeah. And then he says he's working late, and the next you know you Boom. see him at a. And he so dancing. What happens if she didn't show him and catch him there? Right. What do we do? You know what I'm saying? So I understand why she was tripping, why she was upset, mm-hmm. but why is she lying to her homegirls? Yeah. And she said, why? I, it, the movie ain't that bad. I understand you, you, you yeah. didn't dig it, but she was like, and hey, you don't tell your homegirls about it because they're going to talk too much and they're going to elevate the situation like like they were doing. And we end up seeing it at the party. Mm-hmm. You want me to do something, girl? I'll, I'll beat her ass. I ain't scared. I'll take him. Yeah. You want me to do something? Like, no. Monique was fantastic. I'll, I'll take care of this. The, movie, the movie's this not trash. Mm-hmm. It's not trash. Um, but there have been a couple of blackbusters that we've watched where I couldn't wait for the movie to be over. Uh-huh. Like I was, I, I couldn't wait to be done with my homework on this one. Right. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> you know, there are other movies where I'm like, oh man, I'm loving it. I'm loving yeah. this I'm gonna, movie. I'm going to keep this back in the rotation. I'm having a good time. And then there are some where like this movie felt like homework to me. Mm. It, it felt like I've, like I've got to knock this one out. In order mm-hmm. to get to the next one, mm-hmm. I've got to. I've got to watch this. one. I don't want to. I would flip the channel if if it was if it was back when people were flipping channels uh-huh. to find something else. But I have to watch this movie, uh-huh. and I'm basically kind of like to your point. Like after I got past the overseason cayenne pepper, uh-huh. the first couple of rules kind of get me back. Like okay, let's let's make sense, you uh-huh. know. But then, like, the inexplicable decisions that everybody keeps making. And I'm like, this is not what adults would do. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. N- Not corporate motherfucker. Right. <laughs> if this was high school, this is college, yeah. for sure. Like, like well, well, That's one, thing I, one thing I did like was I think it's, it's, a little, it's a little fake. The last thing you want to do, if I'm a man, if you my woman, and we we on we on we at odds right now, mm-hmm. and we ain't talking a couple of days, is let me find out you was hugging or going on a date with somebody else, yep. and you my girl, yep. and we not officially over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ain't no ain't no game plan. I'm on your head. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to try to... He was trying to make her jealous, too. I'm not mm-hmm. doing no goofy shit like that. Yeah. You can't make me jealous. What you're you going to do is make me get you... What you're going to do is make yourself alone. You done took your ass up in the church to play these games? Hugging the Hug, player hugging of the a, church, hugging and, the church nigga, and let the homie see you. Yeah, hey, buddy, man, she was hugged up with little. What was then Trent? She was hugged up <laughs> yeah. with Trent, my yeah. nigga. Yeah, and hugged up all up in his face, hugging them all hard and and, yeah. and, and sexual, and sensual. It's just and, too much. And he, and he was like, he he ate that up like, oh no. Mm-hmm. Hey, bro, I'm like, so what we doing? What we doing? The movie started with him with a baddie. <laughs> That was on him. That was on him, bro. Right, What's like, her name, man? Dang. Like, Dang, the bro. movie starts with him with a baddie. And it, it, for her, and for her to be like, you know what? And she's so secure in herself that she didn't she didn't call him. Mm-hmm. She let him call him. And he didn't call right away, which is unrealistic. Why would you let your boy say, man, don't call her? Mm-hmm. I he said, but you don't want to fucked up. So you said you should go ahead and call her. Yeah. And then when I call, you don't answer. Okay, you don't answer. You don't answer. Then you rush me off the phone, mm-hmm. and then they have dinner. I, she it, she was playing games, and then he was letting her. Yeah, like here's the thing. He might feel like because I had done wrong, I'm in the doghouse, so I gotta let her lead this. Nah, when it's all said and done, I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. But you gonna we gonna sit here and talk. I'm gonna either, I'm gonna apologize and explain myself, mm-hmm. and if that's not good enough, then we could take the next step. Right, which is like okay, we we done. Yeah, or you can like give me some time. And it's gonna take me a few more days to get over the fact that you pissed me off doing this dumb shit. Mm-hmm. It was a it was a bad judge of character. Yeah, it was a bad choice that you did. That you went out with this chick to a to a place that you and I both frequent. Come on, this is my spot. You go out with her and you're dancing with her on the dance floor with no conscience and, about. And it. And I didn't know nothing about it. Yeah, I didn't know nothing about it. And I run up on you and you don't have and you look guilty. Tony said that you, bro, mm. you looked guilty when right. she saw you, bro. Right, right, right. So at that point, I'm going to her house. Tonight, yes. Is she not answering my phone call? I'm I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up. We gotta talk. I'm in the wrong. I'm in violation. Mm-hmm. I didn't think it was that big of a deal until yeah. I saw you there and I saw your face. Listen, I I know how it looks. Right. I would never cheat on you. Right. I love you. Well, well why would you go to dinner with her? You know, like either way, it's a mistake. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. we like we were working late. She said, you know, we we're gonna get some drinks after. You know, I knew that plans with you were busted, right? So, you know, so I went. Um, but I shouldn't have danced with her. 
I don't know. I don't know how I end up on the dance floor. Yeah, I'm sorry. Why? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> right. Don't nobody credits roll them <laughs> like movie. Right, right. <laughs> and that's and, and that's why I'm saying the movie had to have this goofy yeah. shit going on. Yeah, like the ten day rule and all that stuff. Just so, do it better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just do, just do it like like I understand. Like I understand that that we've watched enough movies that we know that like. Things happen in a movie, and they happen in the movie because we got to get our characters from point A to point Z. Uh-huh. We can accept that. We right. can accept that maybe a character makes a decision that doesn't make sense or isn't realistic. Mm-hmm. But okay, cool. But if you are going to set me off on some shit that doesn't make sense, at least keep me entertained mm-hmm. until we get to the end. Don't send me off on some bullshit and then just keep piling bullshit on. Like, listen, by the time we got to the end of the movie, I was like, she don't deserve no man. Like, I'm supposed to I'm supposed to be happy for the reconciliation between her and Keith. And I'm literally rolling my eyes. Like, she don't fuck like, I don't like her. I'm not fucking with her. She don't deserve to have him right in the end. And his puppy dog ass, who's supposed to <laughs> mean like, he's just like, He's, He's a clown. Stand, stand up, nigga. For, like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> like, for one, not only did you get caught with a chick at dinner, I mean, having after working late, then having a nice dance with her on the dance floor when mm-hmm. your wife, your girl was not even supposed to know you were there. Right. Then you bring to this event, Connie. Oh, no, no. Or no. Uh, Connie, it was Connie's event. Whose event was it? Uh, Connie was throwing the event. The, right. Con, Connie at the MGD account. And she invited... And she invites Keith. Mm -hmm. And then somehow, even though they're supposed to be enemies, Vivica gets four invites to their function, to their private party as well. So she shows up to to check out the competition and did not expect to see Keith there with ho-ass Connie. Right. It's just that it just doesn't make sense, man. Yeah, uh, that, that that's that's almost too 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 coincidental. Too coincidental. And um and it's like uh, and then she goes outside, pop, uh, pops her tire, mm-hmm. and then brings the the guy back in. Yeah, and they start. They knew. Why would you know that her her tire got popped? Right. You're in the party with with your chick. Yeah. And um, doesn't make any sense. I mean, there were like, I've had, I've had girls that I was dating. Show up at the crib, fly as fuck, mm-hmm. smelling good, mm-hmm. looking good, yeah. with the whole like bait and switch uh-huh. that came over there to to make out, and then no, I can't do this, and then leave. Uh-huh. I've had that happen before, yeah. like that. Just the college. That makes sense. That's college. Yeah, the dorm room. I I get it. I, uh-huh. I get why you're here. I get I get why you showed up like this. Uh-huh. You you want to remind me of. Uh-huh. Just how bad and tight you are, right? I get that. That like that part kind of like makes. That's sense. when you dating. That's when you just. That's yeah. when you're kids. But when you when you're almost thirty and you you're an exact at your job, you part an adult. and yeah, you don't you, you don't play those type of games. And I get it. It's it, it made for an interesting movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, let me fall back because. They're yeah, they're in their late twenties. They twenty something. Yeah, and they are just successful at their job. But it's and not it, also not believable. Like she's she's supposed to be like twenty five, twenty six. I just said she's she's twenty nine, twenty eight. Okay, you don't get you don't get partner. <laughs> you, that, you're still early. You're, you're still at most. You're like a supervisor. You know what I mean? Like you know, or like an account director. You don't make right. you don't make partner. Right. Like there's no way that that she makes partner. There's no way that that house is hers. Right, <laughs> the house is probably what the mortgage on the house is probably what. Listen, the guy that runs Disney, that's his house, Damn. right? <laughs> right, like like the house that 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 Shantae lives in is for like and in, in Los Angeles and it's in L A. Yeah, come yeah. on, man, come on, mm. come on. Right, his house looked believable for for where he was. Like uh-huh. his house looked smaller. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like you know, like his shit looked right. Ain't no way in hell. Unless she came from money, unless she was part there of her uncle's firm, I don't know something. But yeah, I, I, I get. Know. I'm not tripping off that too much. It's not like well, that was, I was like, okay, she's she's a she's a Doogie Howser. She's a she went to MIT at 16, yeah, graduated at 19. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And now she's just this phenom of whatever she does, she's gonna be able to accelerate her her path yeah. faster. But um, I, I uh, Keith Morshedden's character was weak. 
even with the whole situation with Gabrielle and going and hanging out with Connie and mm-hmm. trying to go back and forth, with, like making her jealous and dancing all hard on her and stuff like that. And that that can work for some people, though. I have to remember that. Some yeah. people are like that. I know I had a homeboy who was going back and forth with this girl a couple years ago in real life. Mm-hmm. And I see, him, I see him all the time, and I know her, too. I know the circles we all run in. Right, right, and right. And I was like, oh, you trying to make her jealous. You hanging out with her to get seen at the spot. Mm-hmm. Then this little premiere, you y'all 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 broken up, right? I get it. But you start hanging out with her, and you bring her to this spot. I get it. And you know that she knows her, and you know that she's gonna see her. And she, even if she ain't there, the people are going to tell her because mm-hmm. her homegirls are there. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and I said, "Are you doing this shit on purpose?" And he's like, "Like right, man, she she want to talk to such and such. And I'm doing my thing too. Yeah. It's too complete that game. So I get it. Petty shit. You know, I I think I think because I don't and have never really acted like this mm-hmm. as a as a human being. By me either. It's hard for me to relate. <laughs> like, you know, like it all seems preposterous. Right. And so, but I but I but at the same time, I can also say that like I do know that people play games. Right. Playing and, games is is a thing that happens. And I, honestly, and he deserved it. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Yeah. At first I felt I started to feel bad for him after a while. But then I'm thinking like, bro, why are you you letting her do this? Like, hey man I'm pulling up. Mm-hmm. If you're not going, if you're my girlfriend, if you're my girlfriend, and I do something that you don't like, and you won't let me call you to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh well, they did. They, they had dinner the next day, right? And he was trying to explain himself. Said, but you don't have to explain yourself to me. At that point, mm-hmm. and he was like, "No, oh, cool, cool. You understand? You're not that stupid, bro. Yeah, you know, you know what's happening." You know that you, you know you're not getting off the hook that easy, and you should know your girl by now. Yeah, you should know the type of woman that you're dating. Yeah, and you know that she's not that cool with it. And again, like real women don't play with fire like that. Real women don't suggest breaking up unless they're ready to break up. Real women don't say we should take some time apart unless they legitimately are questioning whether you should be together. Knowing that he you said you say how great this man is. Yeah, then he messes up once, a huge mess up. Mm-hmm. Because you don't know what would have happened. My my thoughts were if you didn't go to dinner, if I didn't catch you there, y'all didn't even eat yet. Y'all mm-hmm. probably didn't even finish really drinking right, yet. Y'all right. probably had one drink. And let's say y'all eat and they have a couple more drinks and now she gotta you gotta either taxi her home or follow her home or take her home. Mm-hmm. Then what? Yeah. I promise you it wouldn't have it wouldn't have went further than that. Well, how do I know that? Because it wasn't even supposed to this wasn't even supposed to happen. This is a great point, y'all. I think, you know, because I've been I've been on this movie too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I've been on this movie tough uh-huh. since the beginning. Um, at first, I got to think, until you said that right there, at first I was just like, she never really even accusing him of cheating, of like smashing. Right. And never even answers in mind. Never, she never brings it up. And so it's just him out dancing with a girl. And at first, like I was like, it's not that's not that big of a deal. But then I got to thinking like, if I ever got caught up in those circumstances, I think it'd be a big deal. Now, and here's the thing. If he was like, babe, I'm going to go celebrate Tony's uh, promotion, yeah. his birthday. And I get caught Me and the dance. fellas, yeah, that's not, it's that's, going to be over there at such and such My spot. wife is not tripping on And she that. just pull up and see you dance with a girl, my yeah. wife ain't tripping. My wife ain't I'm supposed to be here dancing. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm supposed to be here having a good time, having yeah. drinks. A chick asked me to dance, mm-hmm. and if she asked, if she tried to slip me her number, the baby girl I'm married. You but if I was supposed to be with her, yeah. and she just happened to go out and uh-huh. find me dancing, dancing with the chick, yeah. But even then, we have to believe they have each other's pictures up. She's got his picture on her desk at work. They've been together the for most so important- long. We have to believe that they can have a conversation and work this way through. But again, movies have to happen. We have to hand out some awards. We do. Who's the MVP? MVP of two can play that game. I will say this. At the end, before we get into that, mm-hmm. real quick, she they, they do obviously make up. It's a rom-com. Mm-hmm. They make up at the end where she kind of humbles herself and realizes that she kind of pushed herself so far. But even when she thought that he was going to be there at the end of the, at the, end of the movie, mm-hmm. she's like, he'll, he'll be in my house. Um, groveling, yeah. waiting for us to have some popcorn and snuggle up next to each other. So, mm-hmm. so she walks in like, "Hey, Keith, Keith, that's corny as that's hell. Corny as fuck. This whole time, you think this <laughs> the, this is the time he's gonna show up at your house? Mm-hmm. He wouldn't show. He wouldn't show. And I guess he has a key too. Yeah. This whole t- so the whole time he's calling you forty times in a row. Th- when he could have just pulled up and sat on the couch and waited and waited for you to come home. Come on, and then. When times are the worst mm-hmm. at the end of the film, y'all actually threaten each other. Like, if you go home with him, 
I'm gonna smash Kanye tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, you do what you gotta do. Cause I'm all I know is I'm leaving. Yep. So that's how they left the situation. Mm -hmm. And she was his friend, and he was his friend. But you go home thinking, okay, now he's gonna be at my house waiting. He would have been at your house waiting. Yes. All those 40 phone calls, dozens of dozens and dozens of phone calls. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. So all of a sudden, like the writer's just making things happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. um, and she gets there, and not only is he not there, but she leaves and goes to her club. And she's chilling, and um, and then this woman walks up, another baddie. I, like, I felt like some time had passed. Or do you think that was the same night? I think he had the same suit on. I could okay. be wrong. Okay. Let's go back. You, We could be wrong. But she goes to this to this bar by herself. If that's yeah. the case, let's say three days passed. Yeah, just yeah. the next weekend. Right, right, right. You going to this club by yourself? She's looking busted in the club. Where the girlfriends? Where the girlfriends? Where the girlfriends? Yeah, yeah. She at the club. Like, at least one girlfriend. Yeah. By, by herself. Yourself, he's at the club by himself. Yeah. Um, what are you there for? And, and he's in the booth. He's not even at the bar getting drunk. He's yeah. like, and in the booth, and this fly ass chick walks up to her like, mm -hmm. yeah, I just tried to put the moves on this fine brother over there. He wasn't having it. I don't understand what that's about. She turns around and sees her dude. Come on, you just making shit happen. You know what I'm saying? And then you ask him, "Do you like basketball?" <laughs> I'm I gonna get ask it. You three questions. Like it's it's almost kind of like like again like a writer, and you know this as a writer mm -hmm. when you think. This is the line. This is this is the this is the you had me at hello. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, you know, yes. this is the one that's and so for it for me to already feel like that was a flop and hella corny and not the a the callback is even floppy. Yeah, it's oh, come on. Like, you know, like yeah. now you you now you double down on, on I this didn't mind it that much. Um only because I see I see, I see what, what they're trying, trying to, do. to do. I get um, it. and then and then at the end of that first time he did it, he's like, uh um, do you uh, do you you think I find you attractive? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you find me attractive? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. Um, uh, if I tried to kiss you right now, would you slap me? Yeah, that was dope. Uh, it was it was. When I say dope, meaning like, and then how he played it afterwards, he they laughed it off. Mm -hmm. like, Maybe would you like to dance? Yes. He got but he he went out of the suaveness. That was just him trying to be suave. suave. And yeah. I think it was supposed to mean, it's supposed to be a little corny, supposed to be a little a bad pickup line. At the end of the day, I'm just playing with you. Yeah. Would you like to dance? And she's like, yeah, yes, I would. And they went out there and danced. I, so I'm okay with the, you find me attractive? You think I find you attractive? Only because at the end of that scene, mm -hmm. I'm, hey, I'm just basically, I'm basically, I'm just playing. Would you like to dance? So I, I forgave it. I forgave it. I understand that. I... I don't have grace in my heart. <laughs> I don't have grace in my like I don't I don't have respect for guys that 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 don't get buns, right? Uh -huh. And I I just you know and somebody that doesn't or never got buns wrote this. You know what I mean? It's, it's, uh -huh. it's, so it's fraudulent to me. Uh -huh. No man that I ever know that 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 got cakes in their life would say some shit like that. Wait a minute. Hold on. All right, let me ask you this. This guy doesn't exist. Have you have you ever have you ever knew a seen a chick for the very first time mm -hmm. and you can tell, oh shit, she's feeling me. Right. So you take a little bit more leeway. I mean you take a little bit more more liberties mm -hmm. in how you approach her. Mm -hmm. You say something. Like I didn't pick up a girl and I don't even drink, bro. Mm -hmm. I took a girl, I picked her drink up and started drinking it. Yeah. I said you need something stronger than that. I promise you. That's I'm, smooth, though. I, 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 that's that, you know what that's smooth. I saw her look at it, and I, and I, I drank it, and I was like, because mm -hmm. <coughs> I don't drink. Right. You know what I'm saying? And did you, you end up coughing like Nigga. that? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, okay. I, okay. I, I suppressed it. Yeah. She's like, oh, 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 my God, what are you doing? And I yeah. said, I was, I, I was, it, was, it, was, it was more like, it was like. Yeah. But no. That's, too, that's, that's wrong. You did something stronger than that. That's smooth, bro. You ain't lit. That's smooth. You know what I'm saying? But I knew but I saw her looking at me all night. Yeah. Not that's, all night, but like that's not that. But I think he saw when she turned around and saw him, she mm -hmm. she looked like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. The homegirls was like, ooh, they was gawking at him. Yeah. So he went up there on some like, let me ask you three questions. <laughs> I don't know why I would do that. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like uh and then the the, the questions were they would have to be different. Yeah. I think it's the questions too. Yeah, I mean it, like uh, was it, is is that a, a a corny pickup line family? Y'all like uh asking a girl, girl three questions when you you know she's kind of into you. Mm -hmm. I think he's supposed to know that she's flirting back with yeah. her and with again, him, with him with her eyes. I get what they were trying to do. Just like nobody with talent would ever do that like uh -huh. remember 40 year old virgin where they discovered 
that uh, Steve Carell's character was a version uh-huh. when he got to talking about titties. Uh-huh. And he was talking about the way that, that titties felt. Sand, bag of sand. Yeah, bag of sand. And they was like, wait a minute. It's during poker, right? Yeah. You know, and, and it was like, it was obvious that, listen, somebody that's touched a titty would never talk about it that way. Right. Would never describe it uh-huh. that way. Right. Uh-huh. A guy that uses pickup lines, right? Like, you know, which is also a special kind of guy. Uh huh. Kind of like lame guys use up actual pickup line, mm-hmm. right? What you did was an icebreaker, right? Right, right? like you know, I think fast. There's, and there are smooth like, icebreakers. Yeah. There are jokes. There, you know, stuff that other mm-hmm. people do. That thing that 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 Keith does doesn't exist anywhere in the world, <laughs> right? <laughs> like it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You know what I mean? Like, and and even for a movie. It doesn't work. You've asked. You've. You're now asking me to suspend too much. <laughs> you're asking. You're asking My me bad. like. And again, I like this movie asked me to to just believe a lot of things to be true. Uh-huh. They make you make me believe. You're asking me to believe that Vivica Fox is an executive, that she lives in this big ass house, uh-huh. that she drives this fly ass car, but you've given me nothing. You've never. You haven't proven it. You haven't proven it by her actions. You haven't proved you just forcing me to believe it. And you're forcing me to believe that this guy, Keith, our stud, right? Like, you know, right. that this is that this line is the line of lines. It sounds like somebody that don't get pee. Right? Like, don't you know, get no buns, it, man. it's it's a, it sounds like somebody describing something that they've never actually done. Huh. Right? Because that's, that's a very interesting take. Because you would never write that. If I asked, if I asked you, even even regardless of of this conversation, let's say we hadn't even reviewed this movie, and I said, "Ja, listen, I'm working on a project. I need you to write four scenes of like a, a guy in the bar coming up to a girl, and like kind of doing like a, a pickup line, like you know, and she's with her girlfriends, and he kind of comes over and introduces himself. Mm-hmm. You could write 100 scenes and never write one that bad, right? And everybody in your circle." Could do the same thing, and they would all come up with something better. Than that. I want, I, I'm very curious, and I, I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree because it, this is corny. The more corny. I think about it, it's lame. I'm not lame like nigga. Ugh, get away from me. Yeah, I feel like it's lame for a dude that knows the chick is attracted to him. Yes, and she could be like, I, I you seen the movies before? And he was like, hey, a guy walks up to a woman, and then he he says something to her, and she's like, mm-hmm. He's like, all right, that was lame. Yeah. Yes, it was. Right, right. Like, my name is Mike. Boom. How you doing? I'm Sherry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I know it's lame. You came over here with the lame bullshit, but mm-hmm. I'm still going to dance with you because you, you're cute. You right. know what I'm saying? I think I, I kind of, based off the ending of that little scene, mm-hmm. he laughed it off and said, how you doing? Um, would you like to dance? Like He he became a regular dude. He yeah. went from suave, yeah, yeah, yeah. fake suave, like, how you doing? My name is such mm-hmm. and such. Um, let me ask you some questues. You find me attractive? And then, uh, I'm just playing. That's, I mean, like dance. That's, that's the only reason why I forget it. But I yeah. get it. You say you have no grace for it. I get it. Do you find me like? Do you find me attractive? That's such a a lame thing to ask a woman right. that you just met. Like, right. it's just lame. So you I guess I maybe they deserve each other. Maybe, right. maybe, maybe I have put these characters up on a pedestal, and I thought that they were actually better. I thought because of their station but in then life. Fast forward to him; he don't even know how to deal with a situation where he get caught dancing with a woman that's not his girlfriend. Listen. by his girlfriend, Listen. he don't even know how, know how to navigate that. He needs the little the chubby homie to like help him yes. navigate through his own relationship, which the, is crazy to me. The homie, the homie that smells the after sex aroma. <laughs> <laughs> This is the guy. This is the guy you're listening to. Listen, if you were ever he walked around in the, this, oh, oh, okay. you hit it. If you ever smashed anything, and I came in afterwards and was like, <laughs> it's like friendship over. I can't fuck with none of age. We gotta be nineteen, <laughs> even bro. If I was 16, even if I was nineteen or twenty, it's that's lame behavior. <laughs> but you're gonna forgive the homie. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's equivalent to hey, man. Yeah. Okay. I get it. You're high school. I get it. I get it. But not at 28. You're an yeah. executive. Come on, man. You're we making, both got jobs. You're making a few hundred thousand. We both wearing suits. Come on, bro. You. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. this nigga's fixing this table and shit. I mean, like a cool guy, but like smell like you've been fucking in here, right? Yeah. Like, you know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. oh oh. oh, oh her, her, okay. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right there. But you, but you did your shit, my nigga. But hey. I wouldn't want to get a piece. Like I wouldn't. 
Like, like. <laughs> nah, nah. I'm not with him. Tony's a pervert. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a, a Tony's a pervert. He's a creep. <laughs> he's a creep. He's a creep. And, and, and this is the one you believe in. This yeah. is the one you, you confide in. But Anyhow. he was also my MVP. <laughs> Hilarious. He's the MVP. You know what? He's the MVP. Okay, the so that so now we get into the awards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the MVP for you is Tony. It's Tony. Um, and that's fine. Uh, Tony. Tony. Okay. He's a, he is the only one that I like, right? Like you know, yeah. like we just talked about his his, even, his, his even, pervy whiffs, but yeah. you know, <laughs> but but he's a good dude. He was looking out for his homie. Mm -hmm. He didn't dispense bad advice. He did. It, it was um, it was games. So I will say it's bad, but yeah. you're right. If you go, if we're playing this game, let mm -hmm. me tell you what the best way to go. About yeah, it. if you're gonna do this, he even said it, bro. Like, all right, he said, I'm gonna call first. He said, Hey, man, you kind of the one messed up. You yeah, gotta call first, right? He was like, he was basically getting the input, getting the information, you know, trying to help Tony out, trying to get Tony, trying to get uh, Keith out to the golf course, mm -hmm. come play on the golf course. Yeah. Listen, man, well, let's well, let's go hang out, you know, right. let's watch the game. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, trying to help get you, get you out the funk. So I think that like, if if it's if the MVP is not Shantae, who she, who it isn't for me, mm -hmm. Tony. Anthony Anderson is the person that she's really competing against. Right. And so he's because if 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 this movie has no competition, it just then it's even worthless. Um so Anthony Anderson, Tony is my MVP for the movie. Only okay. And uh only reason why he's not the MVP for me is because he didn't finish out the job. Mm -hmm. He didn't actually the reason why they won, the reason why they meaning like Keith won and and, and Shantae won together. I like got back together is because of her, mm -hmm. not because he did. He yeah. he 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 uh advised him to do something to get them back together. Mm -hmm. Um, at that point he was dancing with the white girl, the little MGD girls. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So he was out the picture after that. Hate that. Um, so then and then she finally. I feel like she was. The, she was the antagonist mm -hmm. and the protagonist. Okay, so you get so you think, think Shantae's the MVP? I gave her the MVP because okay. her homegirls definitely weren't uh, worth anything. Mm -hmm. And t Tony kind of like flatlined at the end. Yeah. He fizzled out. Um, and then now uh, Keith is distraught. He's sitting at the bar by himself, mm -hmm. like turning down good bu good buns. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she comes over here and basically picks him back up. Like she, so she still kind of, even after making all these mistakes. Mm hmm. She gets her man in the end, but so she, she wins in the end, and she finally made the right one. Yeah, I think that's what it, what it came. It's like down a baseball to game that ends one zero. Like, <laughs> right, you won. Right. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So okay. it, it, it's it, it's a uh, somebody had to win. MVP mm -hmm. of this a, a a six to three football game. LVP, um, LVP, um. El least valuable player. I'll give you mine. Go. Shantae's white boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, he he stops, changes attire and a suit, spends the rest of the day talking to her. Talking to her. Oh, yeah, you're right. Follows her home and gets a Kiss on the cheek and leaned in for it. Yes, he was eager for it. Come on, come on, and got nothing. Got nothing. Just lost and, the whole day. And you're not going to get anything. And and you're done. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you're going to get ignored. Know she's never. <laughs> she's never calling. Later on that night, yeah. she's giving Keith some buns. Yes. She met him back at the club. Yes, and yeah, bro, you you did too much. Oh, and then your scent meter is at an all time high. You you. That's the the most like it's easy to maybe call out one of the girlfriends, boyfriends, but we don't even get to know them. We, we right. barely even get to see I was I was speak. trying to re, I was trying to look in that direction, yeah. like you know, these guys never got a chance to to show me anything, right? But this guy, like, bat did, zero. Did, did he even have a name? I don't even On know. On top of that, the whole time I see you with your ex in the party, mm -hmm. he keeps he snatched you out of my grasp twice. Yeah, and you don't do nothing. Yep, you don't say nothing. And you still with her, and then you follow her. That's a bottom feeder. That's a where my hug at, ass yeah. nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It's them type of niggas. Yeah, yeah. that'll that that that'll, that'll sit around the party. Mm -hmm. Like, oh man, I used to do security, right? For uh, 
uh, artists. And I used to be on the tour bus. And I, I, I take the phones of all the girls that come on the tour bus. You mm-hmm. can't take your phone up there. I just, You can get it on your way out. And there, I'll be, I'll be sitting at the door, at, inside the, I mean, sitting in the driver's seat of the tour bus. Mm-hmm. And this one particular situation, it happened several times, but this one time, this dude was outside waiting for his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking this is the dude that was just with a girl. It's his girlfriend. He waiting for her to come outside. She was in there for like an hour. Mm-hmm. And he was like, bro, please, can you just go get her, bro? I said, man. <laughs> I said, fam. I said, man, <laughs> I feel for you, bro, but yeah. I can't go get her. Yeah. That ain't my job. Mm-hmm. My job ain't to go get her for you. Yep. My job is to make sure that people stay safe on the bus. Man, could you go get her? Yeah. That's the, he down stayed bad. out there. He down bad. And he just sat in his car. She got outside and they got in the car. They, they drove off. One dude was like, another situation. Mm-hmm. One nigga was like, hey, bro, I took this chick. We We worked together. <laughs> I've been trying to get at her. I know we both such and such fans. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I got two tickets to go see him. Cool. I know I'm a fan of him. Yeah. She a fan of him. We get there. She on the tour bus with this nigga. And he was like, I get Like, I want to mm-hmm. be on the tour bus too because I want to blaze with the homie. Yeah. We fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she on the bus without me. I'm going to fuck home, bro. Yeah. I, t- nigga, we didn't drove over 30 minutes to get here, man. So tell her, nigga, uh, tell her she need to get her ass out here or something, leaving her. Yep. Exam my girl, nigga. We, I was trying to get some buns tonight, of course. Mm-hmm. But if she gonna, if that's her play? Yeah. See, and he calling her, and her phone is going to voicemail. Yeah. He said, no, I know her, her battery ain't dead. Because I was using her phone earlier. D- during the party, during the function, her battery's good. My battery mm-hmm. was died, dead. Mm-hmm. So I was taking pictures all damn day. Yep. So now I, 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 got, I get to my car. I'm charging my phone. Now my phone, I know her phone's still good. Mm-hmm. So her not answering the phone is she ignoring me. Yeah. But the lead, that nigga left her. Yeah. She got she came out, she was like, he left me? Yeah. Yeah, real nigga. He yeah. dipped. That's I mean fuck out of here. Listen, we know like when it comes to getting some, sometimes opportunity presents itself in random places. True. And you do have to f- follow the thread mm-hmm. and the crumb trail because you because of where it's trending, but at a certain point, you you realize I'm not. She's not trying to smash. Yeah. So you hit the eject button. Yeah. Or, abort mission. Nigga. Or you know you 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 put your you know you 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 dig your heels in and you make a declaration. Right. For this guy to get all to to get all the way to the end and not get nothing. After putting in a, di- he was going somewhere, <laughs> right? Like, like he had a suit on. He was he ha- he had plans that day. Right. He abandoned all of those plans uh-huh. and got nothing. Try to get some of this this uh, brown sugar. It's an L. That's an L. He's a L. loser. He's a loser. At least valuable player. That's what all right. Is. Time for. Oh. Time for fists. Woohoo! Pause indeed. Time for fists. Uh huh. Scale of one to five. How does this rank? This is a three, man. Three? A shaky three. Shaky three. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. High praise. High S- praise? One black fist. One. This is a one black fist movie. I'll never watch it again. Did you watch it back in the day? Yeah. I remember, like, because cause listen, I <sighs> remember all of these movies. There was like, a, you know, there was like rom-com season. Yeah, well, we got you know we got Deliver brothers, Eva, Deliver brothers, Eva, da, 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 da. yeah. Um, so we can play that game. Yeah, I I'm just not a fan. Like you know, okay. on, on this rewatch, on this rewatch, this movie just didn't do it for me. Right, like you know, it just didn't. It's 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 not a three. Um, and to be honest, like as we were talking, I was like, I think I'm gonna give it a two. It's a one. This is this to me. Damn. To me, that's a because that, I put also you know I also factor in just like the acting, the performances, know, the comedy. I know. I'm not trying to change your mind at all. At all. I'm no. just kinda, I'm just letting you know why I gave it a three because it's not a classic. Um, it's uh, it's Morris Chestnut. It's Vivica Fox. It's Gabrielle Union. It's Anthony mm-hmm. Anderson. Like those movies to me have to get made. I feel you. Know you. What I'm saying and, so, and and the, and the he, one to me is like. Here's this the movie thing. Was, shouldn't even been made. It's like, <sighs> okay, so let's say you Fat take, Beach. Yeah, let's say you take a math test. This is uh-huh. true. Well, we watch that. Let's say you take a math test, right? 
and it's five plus five, and you put eleven, right? Now I know you were, you were close, uh-huh. but it's still wrong, right? Like you uh-huh. know, like I like I get it. Like I could even see the the scratch lines that you made. Oh, you just put one more too many. Every every time this every question on this test to play to can play that game. I, even though I know they were trying, this is the mark for me. So just from a from a score, you know, just in terms of, of, of the number of, of right things, I did not like the way they did the narration. I did not like it was heavy handed. I did not like the way they set up. The, there's too much about this movie that I don't like that I think was done poorly to give it anything higher than a one for me. I get I hate I hate. Mean, and I don't think it was a bad movie. But it, it's nah, not. You can't say that. It's not a bad movie. You mean, you mean like, yeah, it's like, a bad movie. Like, like I don't, I don't in my heart, I don't want to give any of these. I don't want to say any of these movies is a bad movie. I know that this is somebody's favorite movie. Let me just end it with this. For sure, it's it's, it's a, definitely somebody's favorite movie on my scale. Uh huh. It's a one black fist. It's to me. It's like a. It's like a fifty five out of a hundred. You like should. It's like it's like a. It's a. When well, you failed. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But like it's not a passing grade. I just but it's like uh well I will say you because I like Anthony Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> right. I like, I but, like and that's Monique. A, and that's about it. I like uh, Monique. I like Anthony Anderson. I, I loved um You wasted my girl Tamala. You waste you wasted Yeah, because yeah, she she was dope. You wasted and, her. And, 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 and both and Piggy, yeah. Piggy Greer, you you, I, you wa- wasted her. I feel like it could be it, it could have been funnier. It was funny enough. You wasted Gabby Union. Um uh Gabby. Yeah. Um and so, uh, I like you wasted the, you wasted Morris. How do Morris, you, yeah. you wasted more? Like how do Basically, you? Have we're gonna just explain. Now? We did we 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 didn't do did we we did the brothers, didn't we? We did the brothers. Damn, we gotta compare. Yeah, Morris in the brothers and Morris in to play that game. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's and so let me say let me tell you why this is a three for me, but not a one. I mean, mm-hmm. one is like you should really should, give it a two. Huh? You should really give it a two. I don't know. I'm going to say it because I like the way they did the... I feel like a lot of women can relate to uh, Vivica, maybe, her character. Maybe it's a gender bias. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, yeah. I'm like, Because women do that goofy shit. Yep. I, I'm mad at you, but I'm not going to call you. But I, I know... Uh, my girl did it in high school. Mm-hmm. She was mad at me. I didn't walk her all the way home. Yeah, yeah. So she said, I'm mad at me. I'm mad at you. I said, okay, well, I told you I wasn't, I was watching the game. Mm-hmm. Go with your homegirls. You wanted to wait and you just wanted to see if I was going to do it. She was one of them like kind of chicks that just wanted to see what mm-hmm. she can get her man to do. Right. I walked her halfway. I told you, all right, I'll walk you halfway, halftime. I walked her halfway. You really, you, you really not going to walk me all the way home? Mm-hmm. No, I told you I'm about to go back. Oh, don't call me, nigga. I didn't call her right. all weekend. This is a Friday night basketball game. I didn't call her all weekend. She called me like Sunday night. I can't believe it. You didn't call me all weekend. Yeah. See, you told me not to. I'm not playing that. I don't play that shit, man. I know we 16. I know, yeah, I know we kids, yeah, but yeah. don't be goofy with me. I, I told you what it was. I didn't do nothing wrong here. Listen. So, and then she fell in line. I'm sorry, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I know I'm right, bro. We get to not bro, but we, like, you get, know what I'm we get to the end of this movie, and our character hasn't learned anything. Like, like she still she 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 makes a mistake. She expects him to be home. He's not home. Next time we see her, she's in a bar, she and all, and she doesn't say, "I'm sorry, I was playing games. I didn't value you. This is what I've learned. This is what I'll do. This is what we should be. You just give me this whack ass line that you gave me at the beginning of the movie. You give it to me at the end. So it's, it's so for me, it's hard to find W's. It's hard. I get it. It's hard for me to find, and so. It just, I, I it's a black gotta, movie a, that got made. One. It's a black movie that got and made, and that's what we say. We say one black fist is is is. Just and that's a, why I, I give black it, movie uh, that got made. I, it, even because I said it's a shaky three. Shaky three is damn near uh, strong too. Give it, a, give it. A two. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. With, I'm gonna keep it with, with the average. Yeah, because it's not. It's not the worst. I didn't feel when I watched the movie. I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel that bad about it. Now things could change. If you in the conversation, but even when you said your things, you said I'm like, uh, yeah, I didn't mind narration. Yeah, yeah, it was I feel cool. You. I feel you. Um, uh, but um, and I thought that Morris was the Buster. Uh, I thought Gabrielle was who she was supposed to be, mm-hmm. and her match 
and she, she when she got in their face yeah. at the party, I said, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, had, it, had, it, it could have been better. That's why it wasn't. And this is what it is. Um, like you said, too much narration. They could have showed it more than just saying it. Mm-hmm. Love Jones. Yeah. Love Jones is the five. Right. Love, Love Jones is a more realistic type of movie. Yeah. yeah but it also yeah, yeah. wasn't a comedy either at True. all. So that's another reason. It's just it's comedy. Like even when, it, when when she's narrating and you see Tamla Jones, Tracy in the back of throwing shit mm-hmm. and doing like this, and Dondre is um, uh, um is running from her. Like Dondre is running from her and she's like doing like she's hitting him, but mm-hmm. it, it looks playful. Yeah. It look, it's, it's supposed to be silly. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Just, that to me should have been better though. Just do it better. Yeah. So, but I'm gonna give, <laughs> I give it a three. Yeah, a shaky yeah. three. Okay. A shaky three, man. All right, dude. <laughs> All right, dude. All right, dude. I feel like they had so much of a cast, it, it could have been, it, it should have been a five with that cast. Whew. With the cast, it should have been the five. Yeah, with the, with, with the cast. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 on paper, you said, it's, yeah. it's a movie. Morris Chestnut, Vivica Fox, yeah. Anthony Anderson, Gabrielle Union, Tamla Jones. you thinking, uh, this, Monique. you like, yeah. Bobby Brown. You're like, oh, this is about to be a classic. This Off movie, top this movie is, is a poor man's brothers. Right? Like, you know, mm-hmm. like, it's, 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 it's bootleg brothers. Right? Like, you know, like, like you know how you got Cheerios no real, and then you like, have Brothers has some good moments, bro. Yes. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Hey, well, Bill Bellamy's character, I love his Fantastic. character. Fantastic. Like, it's a better written movie. Significantly better. Yes. Significantly yes. better. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's just it's just one for me. I, I hear you. Yeah. Hey, that's it, man. Deliver. Is that, the, is, that your, is, that, is that your lowest? I think. One of what them. Do, what did you give it one What did we before? give New Jersey Drive to? I don't we didn't like that. I didn't bring that shit up. Hey, um, somebody, somebody think, in the comments got on my yeah, head about yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, hey, man, yeah. the movie wasn't good, bro. All right, with I, all with yeah. love, man. I think this is the lowest I've gone. Damn. Yeah. Hey, man, I didn't think. I, I don't think it deserves a one, but that's your that's your that's your take on that's it. That's why we're here. That's why we're here, man. That's why we're here. Busting down these black busters, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's it for this episode, man. Uh, two can play that game, mm-hmm. man. Um, interesting watch. I will watch it again because, but I love. The topics. I love the conversation. I, I don't want to get other people's opinions as well. So, yeah. what y'all think about uh, Gabrielle Union's character, Vivica Fox's character, Shante Smith? That is, and well, was she playing too much? Uh, do y'all know anybody like that? Are y'all like that? Women <laughs> and Morris Chestnut have, has any men been in that position before? And they, they didn't know what to do when they got caught doing some goofy shit in their relationship. Let, let us know what you think in the, in the and, comments, y'all, and, and get, to get advice from your non. Buns ass getting yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. There's no <laughs> way Tony gets more buns than Morris. He no should not way. be able to tell. No way. He should not be able to. It's basically like the dude, the white boy in Hitch, telling yeah. Will Smith right. how to do his relationship. Imagine that. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Here's the All right. Let us know what y'all think, man. Mm-hmm. Catch us next time on Black Busters, man. I'm your host, Big J, along with Trombone Tone. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Catch us next time, man. Be good or be good at it. And we out of here, man. To the max. Black Busters.